How's it going students? So for part four, or I should say part three of lab 4.4, we're going over uh, number five of the uh, summarizing numbers list and number one of the other section, which is called transforming lists. So um, the first one that we want to make is a custom snap reporter block called maximum, which basically takes a list as an argument, and then we want to report the largest number in the field. So let me make sure my fingers are right on the keyboard and then I'm going to make it. And again, just like the others, we want to give it the, um, we want to give it the list variable to work with, which if I could type would be awesome, which is called numbers list. So again, it's the same one that all the others are using. And that is for a very specific reason, because we're basically going to take, um, a definition of one of the others we've worked on and we're going to basically replicate it. So, um, again, this one is a lot like the others in terms of how you execute it. So it makes a lot of sense just to go to one of the other block definitions you've already worked on and say, Hey, you know what? I've worked on that. You know, I can kind of reuse that code. It's always a good idea. So for this, basically what I want to do is make, or I should say just report the largest number in the list. So in order to do this, I am going to use a running, uh, total type variable, which I've created, um, already. You can see I have this variable created called current max right here on the left. And I'm going to use that to store my highest number as I go through the list. So I'm going to set my current value um, for current max to zero in the very beginning. And then on each part, we're basically going to say if we're going to say item I of numbers list. So we switch what we already had around and then we put current max right there. So basically we want to say for each item of the list, we're going to loop through and then check and see if item I of numbers list is greater than the current maximum number. If it is, we're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to do set and we're going to do set the current max to item I of numbers list. And it really is that simple folks. So again, um, we want to report something. So I'm going to say hello at the very end, and then I'm going to replace hello with a variable for current max. And I'm going to click OK. You can see if I scroll down and I pull maximum out right here, if I insert numbers as the variable, as the input, you can see it should report 60. And there it does. So it goes through each item in the list, it loops through, it says, hey, if this number that I'm looking at right now is greater than the last greater one that I actually put in, you know, go ahead and report that number. Um, and then the second block that we're going to work on is called make all positive. So before we even start working on that one, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I just did. I'm going to duplicate and set this out here so I can work with it in just a second. And this custom snap reporter block called make all positive basically takes an entire list as an argument and then it makes that same list positive. So make all positive. Basically, if you have any negative numbers in the list, you want to act on that negative number and make it into its absolute value, which is a positive. So we're going to say again, numbers list, because that's how I have to find it in my pre-made code. I'm going to drag that code in. Um, I think I'm going to take out the set current max zero, pull some of that stuff out right here. So what I want to check, instead of checking if item I have numbers list is greater than current max, I'm going to say if zero is greater than item I have numbers list. So that's basically seeing if zero is greater than that value. And so if that value is negative one or negative two or anything less than that, it's going to go ahead and trigger this if condition. And we want to set the, I'm actually going to pull this out. There's a very convenient block that we can use right here that we haven't seen quite yet for lists, which is called um, replace item of thing with item one of list with thing. So again, we know the proper things here. So I'm going to take, uh, actually, I don't even need to take that out. So we'll replace item I of our list, right? So we're going to drag I into where one is with thing. Well, how you make a negative number positive? Simple. You multiply it by negative one, right? So I'm going to bring that in, set that multiplication right there. Um, go ahead and drag this is what I need right here. Have a snap, pull I down, pull numbers list down as well and then go ahead and snap negative one in right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and say the list. I apologize for my alarm going off right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Um, so, and then again, we're gonna say our numbers list there for two seconds, so I click okay. 
and let's get rid of this. We go to variables to see my other functions. I drag make all positive out right here. And now you can see this is mostly positive numbers, but what if we replaced 10 with negative one and 25 with negative 600? Theoretically, our list, once we set this up and if it is executed right, should change our entire list to be one, eight, 600, 63, and one. And that's how you do it right there, folks. So that's our next two functions. Um, please tune into part four to see uh, the final two functions that we want to create for lab 4.4.